Okay, hi everybody, I'm Toby Delbrook from the Institute of Neuroinformatics and I'm going to show you our demonstration of Rochambeau. Rochambeau is the game where you have rock, scissors, and paper. Uh, what we've done here in this demonstration is we've taken a dynamic vision sensor silicon retina. We have two of them here, one for software and one for hardware. And what we've implemented now, um, and you can see the output up here. This is the output of the silicon retina. And you can hear, in fact, the spikes from one of the pixels. You can see this blue pixel right here? This blue pixel, if I move my finger in front of it, you can hear it spike when the pixel experiences log intensity changes. Here's what the chip looks like. And what we've done here in this demonstration is we've taken the spike events from the silicon retina and we accumulate a thousand of them um, and then we drive a convolutional neural network which, play, which guesses, which predicts the symbol of Rochambeau. And that way we cheat, as though they, we were the Flash, watching somebody playing Rochambeau with us. If we're so fast that we can see the symbol being thrown, then we can react with the correct symbol. So it's cheating. But this convolutional neural network is driven with frames of 1,000 events. Those 1,000 event frames can come along at anywhere from one hertz up to one kilohertz. Let me demonstrate. The output up there on the right there shows what the convolutional neural network actually recognizes. So for example, if I now throw scissors, or if I throw rock, or if I throw paper, or if I throw scissors, or rock, or paper, if I throw paper small, or big, or scissors big, or scissors small, it still works. That's because the network has been trained with that millions and millions of frames of data like this in all different orientations and positions with people wearing watches and jackets and so forth. Standard deep neural network technology, what's novel here is that we drive the network at a, in a data-driven way with these thousand event frames. And now what we have demonstrated also in this here is that we have an implementation of convolutional neural network accelerator called NullHop. NullHop is a deep neural network hardware digital accelerator that skips the zeros in the feature maps. And so if a feature map is very sparse, for example, the frame which is being driven into the CNN accelerator here is extremely sparse because there are many, many zeros. Uh, the CNN accelerator skips all the multiplies. In fact, it skips all the clock cycles for those computations. And that's what's shown here on the right. This retina over here is driving directly into this Xilinx Zinc FPGA with a dual arm core and a large FPGA fabric which implements NullHop. And the output of this uh, NullHop Rochambeau CNN is driven, uh, is read by, over a serial port by this Arduino which then controls this light box. And this thing is programmed to win the game of Rochambeau. For example, if I now throw rock, I predict that this uh, output should say paper to win. Ready? Paper. See, I throw rock there. I'm going to throw rock. It throws paper. If I throw scissors, it should throw rock, right? Scissors. Ah. Got it wrong that time. Let's try it again. Scissors. And now I'm going to throw rock. Again? Rock. And now I'm going to throw paper. 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 So that's how it works here. This CNN accelerator uh, can compute this network in about six milliseconds. The CNN here has 100, about 114,000 weights and it takes 18 mega operations, multiplied ads, to compute one pass through the network. Actually, with this small CNN, this small seven layer CNN, uh, null hop is not very efficient. But still, it only takes six milliseconds. So that concludes our demonstrations. Would you like to play?